Guess who? I'm sorry, Mr. Hancock. I'll have it ready by sundown. <laughs> you feed the horses this morning? No, no, I was working on the truck. Annie! Annie Hancock, where are you? Right here. There's my little girl. I'm not really your little girl anymore, Dad. No, oh, honey. You'll always be my little girl. You found her. Yeah. Where are the boys? Joe! Ben! Well, I just want to let you know that we made the harvest quota. Just barely, but barely's good enough. Thank you, boys. Good work. Thanks. Annie, better go get cleaned up. You don't want to be late for the dance. See you later, guys. See you there, boys. I love this song. You're not changing your mind? No. You just don't want to hurt my parents. Okay, I'll see you outside. Okay. Go. I need you to do me a favor. Yeah, of course, anything. This ring, I have you what? Ben, with this ring, I have you what? And now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Nobody waits for that anymore. Congratulations. I'm sorry, I truly am, but you two are just too young to get married. Dad, you don't understand. You're only 18, Annie. Your mother will be so upset. What about your plans? You haven't even started college. But, Dad, my future is with Ben. It's not too late. We can get her to know. Sir, I have a job lined up in New York. It's a big opportunity for me. For us. And they want me there in two days. I want to go with him. I love him. I love your daughter very much, sir. Well, then I know you'll want what's best for her. Deep down, you know I'm right. Come on, honey. Give me things. I understand. Maybe you two just need a little time to think it through. Think more clearly. See the sense in this. I'll send your pay along with the annulment papers. Mr. Hancock, you're a decent kid. I always liked you, Ben. I hope I wasn't wrong about you. You weren't wrong about me, sir. One day I hope to prove that to you.
What is it? You did it again. What? Oops. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It just feels so weird wearing something so pretty when I'm up to my elbows and farming all day. Look, it matters to me. Okay. Look, I'll make you a deal, okay? I won't worry about the ring if we set a date. We will. We will, I promise. It's just, I have so much work to do if I'm going to get that grant. How am I supposed to revolutionize farming and look for a wedding dress all at the same time? We'll wear coveralls. I don't <laughs> care. Hey, we've been engaged for nearly two years. Yeah, but I had graduate school. Right, and then planting and the harvest and taking care of your mother. There's always going to be something. Hey. Hey. We make a good team. Okay. Let's do it. You mean it? Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, one month from today. Right up the harvest. Okay. Fall's my favorite time of year. Mm hmm Wow. Annie. Hey. This came for you. Ooh. It's gonna be about Grant. Fingers crossed. Good news? Uh... The Foundation just wants some more information about my study. Now, don't you use this as an excuse to postpone the wedding. Did you finally set a date? Wait for the harvest. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Annie, your father would have been so proud. I know how much he wanted to walk you down the aisle. I know, Mom. I miss him every day. We got a wedding to plan. <laughs> yeah. Is everything okay? Yeah. Yeah, of course everything's all right. Uh, she's just getting cold feet. Uh, no, I'm not. My feet are on fire. <laughs> I just, I gotta run to the house to grab something. This can't be. Marriage was annulled. Anthony McAllister. McAllister. Hi, can I speak to Anthony McAllister? Yeah. Okay. And no, that's okay. I'll call back. Happening. What's not happening? Where's Joe? He's out in the barn. What? Come here. So, Dad filed those annulment papers, didn't he? Of course he did. Oh, well, look what I've got. Divorce? This doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I know, but those papers say I have to appear in a New York City court with Ben day after tomorrow or I face contempt. Mom, what am I going to tell Joe? I mean, I never even had the heart to tell him that Ben and I actually got married. <sighs> He's going to be so upset. Maybe you've been asked to take a meeting with the Foundation. I'm sure it's just a paperwork glitch, Annie. Well, can I go make a reservation? Well, at least you get to see New York City. Thank you. Well, I'm not on my way anymore. Oh, excuse me. Our wedding is finally coming together. And let me tell you, it hasn't been easy. I was appalled by the flower choices that Francois designed for me. I asked for chartreuse, he gave me lime green, and he was offended. <laughs> On the flip side, you're going to adore my new architect. Pity the poor groom, huh? Excuse 
me. I'm... Oh, 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 I'm so sorry. I just can't see you there. That's quite all right. Uh, is there something I can help you with? Yes, I am looking for Anthony McAllister. End of the hall, left, first right. Thank you. No need to break the door down. I don't think he's in there. Do you know when he'll be back? No idea. Annie? Ben? <laughs> I don't know what to say. How about... Hello? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hello. Hi. Wow, you, you look great. Yeah, you too. Thanks. Uh, so... Oh, um, I'm looking for your lawyer. Do you work here? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Mm. Well, I uh, kind of really need to find out what's going on here. Yeah, uh, why don't we go over here? We can talk. I mean, I'll try to get a hold of Tony. Okay. i get this. Thanks. Boss has a great office. Well, he'll be very pleased to hear you say that. Do you like him? He has his good days and bad days. I think he's liking this one. We smell. Tony, it's Ben. Call me ASAP. So I don't understand what's going on. We have to get a divorce? <laughs> it's kind of hard to do when you're not married. Did you not get the note? No, no. Just those very intimidating legal documents. I told Tony to include the note with the documents. Let me explain. Excuse me, Mr. Lawson. Uh, you have to leave now for that appointment. I'll be right there, Tracy. Thank you. This is your office? Wow. Not bad for a farmhand, huh? Should be the barn. <clears throat> hey, I got your message. It's on my way in. Tony. Yeah. This is Annie. Nice to meet you. We gotta go. We're expected. I'll update you on the way. Let's go. Uh, Annie, sorry, this won't take very long. Where are you staying? Uh, I just came from the airport. Okay. Tracy? Tracy, can you please set Miss Hancock up at the corporate suite and have Hector take her? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, that's okay. I'm fine. Annie, I insist. Wait a second. You'll be Annie? Annabelle Hancock. <laughs> right. <laughs> wow. As long as we're... Don't run away. We should be there in 10 minutes. So it has to be done by then. Oh, Forget the small print. Uh, can you hold this? Yeah. Hector! Hi, this is Miss Hancock. She's an old friend. Please take good care of her. My apologies, I have to travel with Tony. We're about to finish a deal. But I promise when we're done, we can talk. Am I following me? Yes, sir. All right, hour and a half. Easy guy, huh? Yes, miss. Enjoys this larger than life life? <laughs> I don't think he has the time. Is just you and me? That's right. Oh. Hector, I drive a tractor. <laughs> Not really a limo kind of gal. You mind if I ride up front with you? It would be my pleasure. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You're very welcome. What a day. Excuse me. We'll have whatever she's having. Thank you. Annie, thank you for your patience. We are all yours. Hey, great. Can one of you tell me what's going on with this divorce? Because we're not married. The thing of it is, I recently found out that your marriage was never officially annulled. No paperwork exists anywhere. Don't know how it happened. Probably got lost in the mail. It is a problem. <laughs> it's a big problem because I'm getting married next month. OK, great. So you both need to get this resolved as soon as possible. Both of us. I'm getting married on Saturday. I thought you knew that. Uh, no. I didn't. Okay, well, anyway, that's why the court date. Technically, in the eyes of the law, you two are husband and wife. This is not good. Okay, well, surely when the judge hears our story, he'll grant a divorce, and that'll be that, right? 
Right. Because Joe's going to be crushed if we can't get married next month. Well, you're, you're marrying Joe? My old buddy Joe. Yeah. He's one. I always knew he had a crush on you. Well, the crush is mutual. I don't know what I would have done without him. Normally, when a divorce is filed, it takes quite a while to process and become official. I plan to expedite that by arguing special circumstances. But it is crucial that you both show up tomorrow morning to testify. Okay. All right. Well, it's been a long day, and I know it's cliche, but we farmers get up with the roosters. Not a lot of roosters in the Upper East Side. I'll have Hector take you to the corporate suite. No, it's okay. I can get a hotel. Annie, please. It's the least I can do for dragging you all the way to New York. I'm too tired to argue with you. Thank you. It's okay. The car's just right out here. I'm sure I can find it myself. Okay. I'll see you in the morning. Don't be late for court. Sorry, I know it's late there. Oh, don't be silly. I've been dying to talk to you. How's New York? How's, how's the little problem? Uh, should be resolved in court tomorrow. Have you seen Ben? How was that? Uh, well, it was, <laughs> it was strange, awkward. He's a very successful investor. I don't know, he's changed, though. Well, it's been such a long time, huh? And considering how things were left off and everything. So, uh, how's everything there? Oh, yeah, couldn't be better. Except I miss you. Mm -hmm. All right, Mom. Well, uh, I got a big day tomorrow, so... I'll talk to you later, okay? Okay. I'll tell Joe you say hello. Yeah. Okay, I love you. Hello? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be right now. Okay, thanks. Hello? Giovanna? Good morning, my love. Oh, I cannot wait to transform this place. It's just not suitable for entertaining. Oh, can we do this later? I get to get to the mm. office. You don't want your bride moving into something so ordinary. It's just not me. Us. Ours. Wait, I, I want you to see these plans before I have them finalized. I only have a couple minutes. That wall is going to come out, and everything will be all white, with touches of red and black. Clean, modern, old. I thought we were going with warmer colors. Hmm. If you knock down the wall, where are we going to put my grandmother's antique chest? We'll find the right spot for it. You'll be amazed how much room there is once we get rid of that piano. Wait, I thought that was still up for negotiation. You told me you don't have time to play it anymore. It contradicts my vision. You have to trust me. Interior design isn't just my job. It's my calling. Let me turn our home into a work of art. I want you to be happy. Whatever you need to make that happen, go ahead. I have to go. I'll see you later for dinner. That new French place on Madison. Maybe we could eat in sometime. Duck a la range, take out. Yeah, see ya. Morning, Hector. Got you a little surprise. Why, thank you, Annie. Oh, may I call you Annie? <laughs> what else would you call me? Thoughtful, considerate. That works. I, I, 
It's a very elegant apartment. It's a little cold for my taste. But <laughs> well, I trust you slept well. Mm. Got up at dawn. I can't help it, you know, it's just in my jeans. Plus all the honking, sirens. <laughs> we don't have a lot of that in Iowa. <laughs> I gotta be honest with you, Hector. I didn't sleep a wink. I'm so pretty nervous about today. Can I ask you a question? Of course. Ask away. How long have you worked for him? Well, since he was a junior executive. You know, there was always something special about him. He was uh, polite, he was friendly, he was completely different from the privileged young men who were his competition. He worked harder than anyone else. It was like he was chasing a dream. Mm. It's like he finally fulfilled that dream. Yeah, I just wish you were happier. You all right? Yeah. I need to move forward. Okay. Let's get I'll rise. <sighs> Mr. McAllister, back in my courtroom so soon. Yes, Your Honor. But I was told Judge Norton was going to be presiding. He had an emergency. You stuck with me. Well, this shouldn't take up too much of your time. Let's hope not. Pretty. Fifteen years ago, Benjamin Lawson and Annabelle Hancock were married. That marriage was annulled, or so we thought. Why the confusion? The annulment papers were sent in, but there is no record of them ever being finalized. I discovered this fact while writing his prenup. Mr. Lawson needs to be legally divorced as soon as possible. He's getting married Saturday. This Saturday? Yes, Your Honor, so I'm citing special circumstances and asking that you grant them an immediate divorce. <laughs> You realize what would happen if I obliged every attorney with the same request? Oh. Uh, I need to hear from the couple. How did this occur? Uh, Miss Hancock and I eloped, but her father felt we were too young. How young? Annie was 18. I was 19. Of the legal age? Why did you agree? I didn't want the annulment. We were very much in love. But I did what I felt was best for Annie and reluctantly signed the papers. And then what? That's all I know. And then Mr. McAllister discovered the problem. This was the last time the two of you saw each other? We haven't spoken in 15 years. Once I left Iowa, she stopped all communication. What? You're the one who got on that bus and never looked back. Your Honor, Mr. Lawson is simply asking for the ability to get married as scheduled on Saturday. I got the message loud and clear when you didn't show up at the bus stop. Uh, Mr. McAllister, the we'll order in the court. I'm sorry. I'm... Well, I had a really good reason, not that you cared. You never even bothered to find out why I didn't show. I waited as long as I could. I wrote letters. I called. He never called. Why are you lying? I mean, none of this even matters anymore. Your Honor, I'm not lying. <sighs> I just want to get this over with. Any, 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 no, 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 any. What is going on, Counselor? Benny. 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 I'm going to review these special circumstances and take them under advisement. You and your unruly client will be back in my courtroom Monday morning, 10 a.m. Uh, Your Honor, Monday is too late. This court is adjourned. Your Honor, but Your Honor, Mr. Lawson is, is going to be married Saturday. That is not my problem. No, I realize that. It's, it's, uh, that would be my problem. Okay. Annie. <clears throat> I got on that bus because you never showed up. Not even to say goodbye. Because Dad had a heart attack that day. It was the first of many, and I couldn't leave him, and I couldn't leave my mom. <sighs> I am so sorry. I, I had no idea. Just never the same after that. You know, this proud man suddenly couldn't do much of anything. 
Why didn't you answer my letters? Or return my calls? Because I never got any letters. You tried to contact me? You honestly had no idea. He was just trying to protect you. He should have told me. Guys, guys. What happened? What happened? Wow. Uh oh. Ben? Hi, uh, what, uh, what, what are you doing here? I stopped by your office after seeing the architect. Guess what? You weren't there. So I looked at your calendar. It said court. Nothing about a pretty girl. This isn't a pretty girl. I think she could pass for pretty. No. Annie's my client. Uh, she and Ben are old friends. He asked me to help her out of the jam. Am I missing something? A deposition. I'll take care of it later. We haven't been introduced. I'm Ben's fiance, Giovanna Jorgensen. Oh, Annie Hancock. We go way back. To Iowa. Our time on the farm. Together. It's Annie's first time to the city. Yeah. Hmm. How long will you be in town? Our court date got postponed until Monday. Monday? Monday? Yes. Well, enjoy the big city. I will see you later, my love. I'm having lunch with a client. Giovanna's an interior designer. Oh, lovely to have met you. You too. We're getting married on Saturday. Why can't we come back sooner? We have four days to fix this. The judge's docket is full, and you two walking out of the courtroom didn't help the case. So what are we going to do? I got a plan. You'll get married as, as scheduled. Giovanna will sign a faux marriage certificate. Although you won't be legally married until I get the judge to wave her magic gavel on Monday. I'll switch the papers. No one will know the difference. I don't know, Tony. Ben, I'm going to shuffle around some papers. Okay? Giovanna shouldn't have to cancel a fairy tale wedding. It is the social event of the season. What do you think, Annie? Uh, I think I need to get back home. Ben, I have so much going on. You can't get married until this is resolved. The judge insisted that we all be present Monday. What difference does a few days make, right? Ah. Uh. Okay. All right, but I have to get some work done. So I'm doing a thesis on the acidity of soil. That sounds exciting. You can have an office, a computer, whatever you need. You can have an office and a computer, whatever you need. Maybe a plant. Ooh, you're at home. Let's go to lunch. I'm starving. Come on, Ben. According to our analysts, the whole sector is hot. Get... Hey. hey. Tracy said you want to see me? Yeah. We don't usually have an in-house farm down the hall. Uh, I want to buy King Fertilizer Corp. We have to move fast because it is poised for a big bump. I don't know anything about stocks. But? Well, I do know fertilizer, and that brand is lacking in minerals, and it just depletes the soil over time. But our team has done reams of research. My degree is in agricultural chemistry with an emphasis on biotechnology. No disrespect, but I... I think the king fertilizer is a bad bet. Okay. It was your idea to ask her. That it? Yes, that's it. Thanks. <laughs> funny. Real funny. Eddie! Good call. King is down by six dollars. You saved us a lot of money. Hey, it was my idea to ask him. That's great. Yes, it is. And because of that, we owe you a first-class New York City dinner tonight. I'm buying. Oh, that's not necessary. Giovanna and I already have plans. Great. Invite her, we'll go. Perfect. See you tonight. Congratulations. And it is lucky for me you got that degree. Cheers. Cheers. Uh. What kind of degree? I'm a doctoral candidate. That's a lot of education for running a farm. Well, running a farm is, is hard, hard work. work. <laughs> ben and I 
I used to hear my dad say that all the time. <laughs> I have some good news. We have a final headcount for our wedding. Only 406. I thought you said 350. It's a social event of the season. Uh, we have 406 people? That's more than the whole population of Granby. It'd be like Joe and me inviting the whole town to our wedding. <laughs> You're getting married? Didn't I tell you that? No, Ben, you left that part out. When's the wedding, Annie? Uh, it's, it's like four weeks from today, but I don't even have a dress. Seriously? I scoured every inch of the city to find the perfect wedding dress. I know just where to take you. Javon, I'm, I'm sure you have enough on your plate with our wedding. I can spare a few hours for your old friend. You can tell me all about young Ben and his idyllic days on the farm. Oh, oh no, I, I couldn't possibly impose. Come by my office tomorrow morning. I'll take you shopping. Just us girls. It'll be fun. Oh, great. <laughs> Hey, Joe. Hey, Annie. How you doing? I'm okay. How's everything there? Oh, the tractors run a little sluggish, but I'll oh, bet have a look at it. You know, your mom and I sent out the Save the Date wedding invitations. Hmm. That's great. So when do you think you'll be back? Uh, I should know a little bit more on Monday. You know, it's, it's not the same around here without you. Hey, your mom's here. I'll put you on speaker. Okay. Annie, honey, we miss you. Hey, Mom. Uh, miss you, too. Listen, guys, I gotta get going, but um, I'll call you tomorrow, okay? Okay, hon, good luck. All right, bye. Bye. Tell Francois he's colorblind. The roses he showed me are fuchsia. I don't like the chairs in the banquet hall. Tell Sergio to replace them. Yes, I do realize it's 430 chairs, and yes, by Saturday. Thank you. She needs something much simpler. There's too much tool. <sighs> Very pretty, though. You'll know when it's the one. Let's try the ivory A-line. Giovanna, I, I really appreciate your help with this, but I just feel a little bit overwhelmed. Maybe I should look for something back in Granby? Oh, not on my watch. Iowa isn't exactly the fashion capital of the world. <laughs> You're not leaving New York City without a wedding dress. Now you march right back into that dressing room. You only get married once, right? Right. <sighs> It all starts with the dress. It dictates the feeling, the theme of the entire wedding. I guess. So tell me all about the groom. How'd you guys meet? How long have you been together? <laughs> Joe, he's, um... Joe's a solid guy. He's been a right hand at the farm ever since... Well, forever. It kind of feels like we grew up together. I can't believe you run a farm. Well, after my dad died, I had to. But I couldn't do it without my mom and Joe. He's, he's a really loyal guy. That's what I love most about Ben. How honest and loyal he is. You know what I mean? Yep. How are you doing in there? <laughs> Once they make the adjustments, we'll have it sent right over. Joe's a very lucky man. <sighs> Thank you.
I think Walk is playing us. Hello, Earth to Ben. Oh, sorry, Walker. <laughs> I was just thinking about Giovanna and Annie. Wondering how things are going. Hmm. That's why you're so distracted. Yeah, my uh, future wife is helping my other wife pick out a wedding gown so she can get married to a guy who has no idea she was ever married to me. Oh, what a tangled web we weave. I'm counting on you to unweave it on Monday. What am I new? I got it. Relax. It's gonna be fine. Annie. Hey, we were, uh, we were just talking about you. How's the shopping expedition going? I got a dress. That's great. <laughs> yeah, Giovanna was determined to find the perfect one, and well, we did. So everything was okay? Yeah, Ben, she's, she's great. And I just feel badly about deceiving her about you and me and Tony's whole faux license scheme. I know what you mean. Soon it'll all be resolved and there'll be no more secrets to keep. Yeah. She's really excited about the wedding. Giovanna. Hello, my love. Do you mind if I call you back? My fiance just walked in. Yeah. Yeah. The fashionista farmer. <laughs> mm. I'll have to surprise you more often. What about that on? Can a guy kiss his bride to be? <laughs> Later, lovebirds. <clears throat> I got work to do. Thank you for going the extra mile with Annie. Just another wonderful thing you do. How'd it go? We found the perfect dress. And I learned a few things about her, too. <laughs> oh. Like what? This and that. Just girl talk. But that's not why I came by. That remodel I did in Chicago just snagged the cover of By Design magazine along with an AP spread. That's great. The only problem is it's not absolutely perfect yet. And you know how I am about details. So I'm on the next plane to Chicago. I'll be back in time for the rehearsal. I hope you don't mind. Of course not. <sighs> Annie! Oh, what are you doing here? Uh, Ben was kind enough to let me in office so I can get some work done. But hey, listen, I just, I really want to say thank you for helping me find that dress. I'm, I'm excited. It was my pleasure. Honestly. <laughs> Wait, I just had a great idea. You're stuck here anyway. Why don't you come to the rehearsal and the wedding? What? Oh, no. Nonsense. You and Ben are such old friends. I know he'd want you there. I don't know what to say. <laughs> say yes. I gotta run. I'll see you at the rehearsal. You okay? I'm coming to your wedding. What did you say? Hey! You just missed a shopping BFF. No, I didn't. I didn't miss her. And she didn't miss me. In fact, she insisted that I come to the rehearsal and the wedding. You don't have to do that. Well, she's been so nice, I could refuse. You know, it, it's, it's gonna be strange, but I'll be fine. <laughs> You're a real trooper. Piece of cake. Literally. Seven layers and counting. Maybe you shouldn't go to the wedding. I'll be fine. Let me make it up to you. Look, Giovanna has to go to Chicago, so I'm off wedding duty for a couple of days. How about after work, I show you some of my New York. Yeah, yeah, take her out to dinner. Celebrate the divorce. You've barely seen the city. Crazy to come to the Big Apple and not take a bite. You may not get this chance again. Okay. Okay. Hector, allow me. We'll do some touring, shall we? As you wish.
This is great. There's so many people here. You should have been a tour guide. What? We've only covered Manhattan. We've got four more boroughs. <sighs> Wish we had that kind of time. Me too. So, uh, how do you know about this place? Well, when I first got here, it was pretty overwhelming. So I'd find tiny, low-key places like this. So I wouldn't feel like such a stranger. It looks like you fit in now. I'm just a country boy in a designer suit. <laughs> the chauffeur and over 400 people come to your wedding. <laughs> you know what? Why don't we go uptown? Show you Fifth Avenue, and then we have dinner reservations. <sighs> Can I be honest with you? Far away. Well, I really appreciate you showing me all the wonderful things that New York has to offer, but you don't have to impress me. I'm not trying to impress you. Well, maybe a little bit. <laughs> but it's only because the life I'm living right now is, is what I always dreamed of. For us. <laughs> okay, you tell me. Where do you want to go? Uh, how about somewhere where I won't feel like a fool for using the wrong fork? I know the perfect spot. No forks required. Come on, let's go. Okay. Where to? Hector, let's go to Brooklyn. Yes, sir. We may be lost. We're not lost. I used to live around here. Four story walk up, no hot water. It was all I could afford. Uh, see, now, this is my favorite part of the tour. <laughs> I wanted to see your New York. Let's go check it out. Hector, should grab something to eat. Catch up with you later. As you wish. Walk with me? Sure. So, this is the first place I landed after I arrived. Yeah? Yeah. I loved it. My landlady, Mrs. Peterson, gave me a break on my rent. Mm hmm Said she believed in me. Thought I had a future. Ha! All right, she was, huh? So, how did you get you from a four-story walk-up to a penthouse? Luck. And a little bit of talent. Actually, it started with your dad. He used to have trouble with his books, and I'd help him out. You helped my dad? I mean, he knew his stuff. Just wasn't great at putting it on paper, and bottom line thinking came easy to me. So, you, you get to New York, and then what? I kind of became a gopher for a Wall Street trader, and he noticed I had a knack for it, and he became my mentor. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty lucky. I love what I do, but I work so much that sometimes I forget to slow down. Still hungry? As long as it's nothing fancy. See for yourself. <laughs> I love pizza. Yeah? Yeah. Can we get two cheese, please? She just waits. It's the best? 
My absolute favorite. Your favorite. Okay. Hands down. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. Yum. So this is the best pizza you will ever have. Really? Promise. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. This is how we do it in Brooklyn. Okay. You gotta bend it. All right. Mmm. Oh, yeah, that's good. That is good. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. You have um, a little... Oh. Mm. Um... Uh... <laughs> it's all over me, isn't <laughs> it? I mean, you know it's great pizza when you start wearing it. <laughs> and no forks required. Mm -hmm. So, have you ever brought Devon here? This is the most beautiful place in the whole city. Mm. You know, it's crazy, because I always thought that New York City was just a bunch of big buildings. This part always reminded me of Iowa. Get over how big this city feels. And if you think about it, it's really small in land acres. Always thinking like a farmer. That was meant to be a compliment. Mm. Yeah, I can see why you thrived here. Ramby was just too small for you. It had its advantages. Ben, this has been, it's kind of been perfect these past two days. Yeah, it has. <laughs> How about dinner tonight? Hi. Hi. Come in. Wow, you look beautiful. Oh, just a country girl in a designer dress. <laughs> Touche. Oh, Ben, this is amazing. I really wanted you to see it. it. Took me a lot of years to get here. You like it? Do I like it? Yeah, yeah. What's not to like? Well, Giovanna wants to redecorate. She wants a cleaner, modern look. Oh, I don't... I don't know. I kind of like the way it is. Make yourself at home. I'll get us something to drink. All right. Stop. It's probably the last time it'll be played anyway. Javon wants to get rid of it. Why? Well, I never have any time to play, and it's not in keeping with her vision. Oh. Maybe her vision needs some revision. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I'll show you the terrace. Okay. Thank you. I always loved hearing you play. I'd go out on the back porch. Close my eyes, carry it away. That's why Daddy was always looking for you. Ben! Wow. Hey, let's, uh, let's toast to something. Uh, okay. Um, here's to our divorce. To our divorce. Ah, Ben, this is, this is incredible. Yeah, it is. So, you're, uh, getting your PhD in agricultural chemistry. Yeah, yeah, do well, to gain credibility. I'm trying to do this study that could eliminate the need for pesticides. Ambitious. Yeah, 
I know. That's why it's so hard to get that grant. <sighs> uh, what I'm doing is I'm taking generations of corn and I'm planting them in very alkaline soil. I'm, I'm breeding for pest resistance. And, um, <laughs> and, and then I'm taking herbs that are natural deterrents and I'm placing them on the periphery of the land and that eliminates the need for chemical pesticides. <laughs> That's beautiful. You know, I'm pretty good at writing checks. Maybe I could help. No, 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 no. I don't think that would sit well with Joe. <laughs> or me. You know, I, I kind of have to do this on my own. Don't worry, though. I'll get my grant. You know, I envy you. Why? Your passion. You're doing something meaningful. Uh, well, I think you're doing okay here, Ben. <laughs> All I do is buy and sell things. At the end of the day, it seems hollow somehow. And sometimes I wonder what would have happened if I stayed in Iowa. Ben, don't go there. Oh, no, a broken heart is a great motivator. I'm just glad you're back in my life. Because you remind me of who I really am. Or want to be. I feel like I sacrificed that to obtain all this. Man, I'm not back in your life. Homie, I mean, you have Giovanna and I have Joe, and as soon as this divorce is granted, then we need to move on. Maybe. We... But we're, we're both marrying other people. We've, we've chosen our lives. This can't happen. Oh, no. Ben, I'm sorry. Annie. I'm sorry. Thank Annie. you. Thank you for a lovely evening. I had a wonderful day. Annie. Annie! Annie, wait. Let me drive you. It's okay, Hector. I'm fine. Please, come on. Come. very confusing time for both of you. Yeah, that's the thing. It's it's not supposed to be confusing. Now, I'm marrying Joe. He's marrying Giovanna. End of story. Except seeing each other has stirred up some old feelings. Yeah. Very old. I mean, Ben and I loved each other. You know, but that was, that was once upon a time, and all of this is just pining for what might have been. Home, this whole charade has just gotten too difficult. Do you mind some advice? <laughs> Go ahead. Do you care about Ben and his future happiness? Yeah. I do. You see, this charade, it's also for your future happiness. You know, as difficult as it may be, I think you should just stick with the plan. Just stay till Monday. I guess. 
Everything will work out just as it's supposed to. <laughs> My dad always said that. <laughs> <laughs> Any hand talk? I'm glad you're staying. No, no, no. I got this. Actor, you're my best friend in New York, you know that? Huh. Good night. Good night. Don't lose that girl, Ben. Everybody's sake. Hector said you two talk. Is everything okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. As far as I'm concerned, Monday can't come fast enough, though. Look, I get it, but I still think we need to talk about what happened. Nothing happened. It's not going to, so we don't really need to talk about anything. Annie! <sighs> there you are. Annie. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Uh, how was Chicago? Oh, you're so sweet to ask. It was my first magazine cover, so thankfully everything went perfectly. Great. You look beautiful. If everyone could take their places, please. Oh, that's my cue. Okay. Ladies, if you'd assemble at the foot of the aisle. Gentlemen, if you'd stand to my left. And proceed once you're ready. Now, tomorrow, when all the guests are here at this point, everyone will stand as the bride enters. And as the bride and her father approach, he gives her away. And then, if you take your bride's stand, and face each other. And here, I'll say a few words about the happy couple. At which point you will exchange the vows. Finally, I will pronounce you husband and wife. Hey, Joe. Hey, listen, any bad news? There's a really big storm heading our way. How bad is it? Well, if the river rises, we could lose the cross. Okay, uh, well, I'll just, um, I'll be home as soon as I can. Yeah, okay. Annie, everything okay? Yeah, uh, there's just a big storm coming. Crops are in danger of flooding, so I have to go home. What about Monday? I don't know, I don't know. Tony will figure out something. Just all of the corn crops in my study, they can be gone. I mean, everything that I worked so hard for. What about your wedding? I'm just going to have to try to make Joe understand, and hopefully he'll forgive me for lying. Just have Tony send me the papers whenever they're settled. Goodbye, man. Annie. The runaway groom. What happened to you two? Where's Annie running off to? Is everything all right? No, Giovanna, it's not. You and I need to talk.
all sunrise, isn't it, honey? Mm, quite a storm. I think we saved most of the crops, though. We still haven't talked about what happened. That's because nothing happened. Just a bunch of reminiscing. Well, anytime you want to talk about nothing happened, I'm always here. Thanks, Mom. Any news? No. Committee's taking too long to deliberate. I don't think I'm gonna get my grant. I mean, you've gotta hang in there, honey. Just trying to do some good, you know? You have done plenty of good. You've kept this farm from going under. Mom, we're barely making our quota. Did you know that your dad almost lost his farm twice? What? Yeah, he wasn't good at handling pressure or the money. He always wanted to work the land and not the books. Ben was a big help. You knew about that? He didn't know that I knew. I kept it that way. Your dad was a proud man. I always thought he was so in control. Little girls always like to think of their daddy that way. Yeah. Well, I gotta get to work. Don't worry. Everything's gonna work out. As it's supposed to. I know, Mom. Like Dad always said. Any other rabbits to pull out of your hat? I'm working on it. Good morning, Your Honor. Where's Ms. Hancock? I specifically asked that both of your clients be here this morning. Well, Your Honor, it's complicated. Your Honor, Ms. Hancock had to go back to Iowa for an emergency. If I could just plead our case. I'm not planning on getting married anytime soon. But I'm begging the court to expedite the divorce so Annie can marry her fiance. She deserves to be happy. Regardless of your heartfelt plea on her behalf, I'm afraid I can't grant a divorce at this time without hearing from the other party. Next case. But, Your Honor? I've already ruled. We're done. It's a nice speech. I almost believed it. I want Annie to be happy. I believe that part. It's just not about marrying Joe. so bright tonight. Nice and clear after the storm. Annie, I, uh... I got something I'd like to say. But first off, I'm, I'm so glad you're back. You know? You could have told me that you and Ben were married all those years ago. I want you to know, I don't mind waiting for the divorce to come through. Just glad that we're back in sync again. You and I were uh, like a well-oiled machine, you know? You know what I mean? Not really. Well, we plant, we harvest, we get the job done. I don't want to be part of a well-oiled machine. It's just a turn of phrase. Eh? No, it's... I 
really appreciate everything that you've done for me over the years. But that, that's gratitude. That's the kind of love you have towards a friend, not the kind of love that you build a marriage on. Like you and Ben. You know, I can't compete with a ghost. It's not about me and Ben. You sure about that? matter he's with Giovanna now. Joe, this, this is about you and me. Wow. Well, I guess a two-year engagement should have given me a clue. I have no idea. Don't you dare go out of my life. I can't. There's too much work to do. That's a lovely piece. I'm just wrestling with a few things. Have you spoken with her? Giovanna will never speak to me again. I embarrassed her. She wants nothing to do with me. I meant Annie. I've picked up the phone a dozen times. But what would I say? She's made it very clear that she wants our past to stay in the past. I have a confession to make, sir. I grew very fond of Annie when she was here, so... I've checked in a few times. She all right? What'd she say? Well, she's in a bit of a bind. She didn't get her funding. She must be devastated. Perhaps, but she's a resilient woman. However, I thought that it might present an opportunity. I've offered her money. She turned me down. I've never known you to take no for an answer. I don't want to insult her. I'm sure you'll find a graceful way to part with your money. Maybe so. Hector, where would I be without you? No. Stuck in your penthouse. When you should be in Iowa. Mud. What a way to lose a grant. How you doing? Hey. Oh, I'm fine. Nothing a little moody walking a few old can't fix. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Annie. It's okay. And they were worried that the flood might compromise my study, but I don't know. I just think it still would have worked. Well, you did your best. And I'm proud of you. Thanks. Sorry about you and Joe. Yeah. He seems to be doing okay. I hope so. I think you did the right thing. You just didn't have that spark. Or whatever it was your dad and I had. Mm. Times like this when I miss him the most. Yeah. Me too, Mom. Me too. Let's hope for a great harvest tomorrow.
everyone's here to start the harvest. You all right? Yeah. All right. Shoes. See you downstairs. Okay. Okay. Sir, I've got the numbers on that deal. Should we move on this before the close? Tracy, I'm running late. You decide. Sir? Why is he going in such a rush? I have no idea. I just got an update. Flight's right on schedule. You're sure you want me to come with you? I wouldn't have it any other way. You know, this would be quite an adventure for me. I've never visited the Midwest. Oh, you're gonna love it. Well, if any's any indication, I'm certain that I will. They say you never go home again, but here I go. <laughs> it's a 12-hour day, huh? <laughs> Thanks so much for your work. All right, everybody. So, it is my pleasure to tell you that even with the flooded fields, we met our quota! <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. So go out tonight, go to the Harvest Festival, have a good time, you all earned it, all right? And there's some water right over there by the barn if you guys want it. Thank you, thank you. <sighs> a tough one, but you did it again. We did it again. <sighs> you better go get cleaned up. Do your hair and all that fun stuff. I was thinking of wearing my uh, pink dress. <laughs> Mom, I'm not going to go to the Harvest Festival. It's always been your favorite night of the year. I know, but I just can't really see myself dancing right now. I know things have been tough lately, but trust me, dancing is exactly what you need. McAllister. Really? So it's official? Thank you. Yes! I rock! Tracy, find Ben! It's urgent, urgent good. He is gonna be happy! I'm glad you came, Manny. Dancing is fun. I know. Come on. Have some fun. Come on. Hi. Oh, look. It's Martha. Hi. Hey. So nice to see Hi. you. Hi. Are you having fun? Good to see you. Well, well. Welcome to Granby. Are you kidding me? Nice to see you, too. What are you doing here, Ben? No, you know what? I, I don't even care. You know what I want to do? I want to pop you in the mouth. But I won't. Because I want Annie to be happy. What do you mean? Wait, you don't know? What? We broke up. Joe, I'm sorry. No, no, you're not. I'd say we arrived right on time.
doing here? Dancing with the love of my life. What about Giovanna? We broke up. Joe and I, we, um... I know. Joe. Hey, Mary Jane. Lou. Mary Lou. You look nice. When Annie's all out of your system, look me up. Saving. Maybe I do. I'm tired of buying and selling and padding my own pocket. I want to do something that matters. It's a grant from the I Believe in You Foundation. <laughs> you can pay me back after you save the world. Every penny. Ben! Ah! <laughs> How did you find me? Tracy tracked you down. I finally got the judge to sign off. You two sign on the dotted line, and you are officially divorced and free to marry whomever, whenever you want. No, no, what are you, what are you doing? What did I miss? Miss Annie Hancock, will you marry me again? <laughs> yes! Yes! Well, I, I guess I missed a lot. <laughs> True love never dies. Sometimes it just takes a 15-year detour. Any with this ring, I thee would. Ben, with this ring, I thee would. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. <laughs> From the Hallmark Hall of Fame collection. People throw coins into the fountain, and then for seven nights, they dream of their true love. They shared a dream. I feel like I know you. What do you do if you feel like you found the guy? Only he's a figment of your imagination. Now, they can make it a reality. If you can dream it, you can have it. Catherine McVie. What if this is just a dream? There's only one way to find out. From the Hallmark Hall of Fame collection, In My Dream.